Imagine you're sinking into the ocean, deeper than anything you've ever seen before. The light disappears after just a few dozen meters. The temperature drops as if you're entering an entirely different world. And then, at a depth where the pressure can crush solid metal, you witness something impossible. A lake, sitting beneath the water itself. A lake at the bottom of the ocean. It has shores. It has waves. It has depth. And just touching it could kill you instantly. This isn't an illusion. It isn't science fiction. It's real, and scientists call them brine pools, mysterious super salty lakes lying deep on the seafloor, where the line between life and death is only a single touch away. In the pitch black depths, these lakes act like perfect natural traps. They're so dense that any creature swimming into them is pulled straight down, as if falling into a heavy, invisible gel. Their salt concentration is so extreme that the surrounding seawater cannot mix with them. Instead, they form a sharp, shimmering boundary, a halocline bending light like a portal into another world. Inside that world, life nearly does not exist. No light, no oxygen, only hydrogen sulfide, so toxic it can kill a fish instantly. When ROV cameras approached a brine pool for the first time, researchers described it as standing at the edge of an alien planet where every movement feels strangled by absolute silence. It is beautiful, it is mysterious, and it is deadly. If a diver accidentally slipped into one, their body would face three attacks at the same time. First, extreme salinity drains water from cells, causing osmotic shock within seconds. Next, hydrogen sulfide, a gas capable of shutting down the nervous system can knock a person unconscious with a single breath. And finally, the overwhelming pressure of the deep ocean makes escape nearly impossible. A person falling into a brine pool wouldn't scream. They wouldn't struggle. They would simply sink silently until they disappear. But strangely, right next to these death traps, Life still exists. Extremophile bacteria feed on methane and toxic chemicals, surviving where no other organisms dare approach. They form tiny ecosystems where shrimp, worms, and deep sea creatures gather to feed but never cross the edge. One wrong step, and they vanish into the thick, deadly water below. Scientists believe these organisms may hold clues to the origin of life on Earth. If life can survive in darkness, cold, poison, and crushing pressure, what stops it from existing in the subsurface oceans of Europa or Enceladus? Maybe beneath their thick layers of ice, similar brine-filled environments are quietly nurturing life we have never seen. But brine pools hold an even deeper mystery. They're expanding. Some lakes grow larger each year as if super salty water is slowly consuming the seafloor. Certain regions also show intense methane leaks so concentrated that a small geological fracture could trigger an underwater explosion. This is why scientists move cautiously. One mistake, and everything could go wrong. No one knows exactly what's happening beneath these lakes. No one knows why some of them grow, or whether something lives inside them. What we do know is this. We've explored only 5% of the ocean. The remaining 95% is still buried in darkness, hiding countless secrets. And brine pools are just one of the first mysteries we've accidentally uncovered. As the ROV backs away from the lake's edge, its camera captures the still, black surface, reflecting faint light like a giant mirror sunk in endless darkness. No movement. No sound, only one chilling realization. Beneath that silent surface lies a world humanity has never touched, and perhaps should never touch. <laughs>